All counterfeits are not created equally. These are two bills, and not that they're counterfeit. As far as I know, they're real legal tender. This is a $1 American bill. This is a $5,000 Jamaican bill. Anything about these? If I wanted to give you $5,000 or a dollar, most people want to go for it uh, $5,000. Here in the United States, this $5,000 Jamaican bill is of little to no use to me. This dollar bill is of tremendous use. Especially prices today it may not give me a lot, but if I went to the store with this $5,000 Jamaican bill, people probably look at me strange. But if I was in Jamaica, and I went to, uh, to certain places, I could actually spend this dollar bill. No issues. They already have an exchange rate program set up and I could actually spend this dollar bill, American dollar bill in Jamaica. So even the value is different. And by the way, I didn't look at exchange rate before coming on, but last time I was in Jamaica, one American dollar was worth about 150, I think 154, Jamaican dollars. So this is different with exchange rate. And even with counterfeits, sometimes we look at surface level things and we think something is more valuable than it is. And we go for the counterfeit and we overlook the real. And by the way, a part of some counterfeits are better than others is that a counterfeit oftentimes focuses on the facade. And you don't truly know what's on the back of these bills. As in, it's important as you're discerning by the power of the Holy Spirit that you just don't look at the front, you just don't look at the face value, but you also turn things around to ensure that everything is matching up, where words are aligning with deeds. Now, apart from me saying all counterfeits are not created equally, and the stuff I just said a while ago, I had no idea I was going to say it. I just had to go to flow. But a part of a counterfeit not being created equally. There's sometimes you can look at a counterfeit bill and it looks like monopoly money and it's clearly fake. But then there are times when the enemy carefully crafts a counterfeit to look real. And it's hard to, to tell the difference, which is part of the reason why we need a personal relationship with God through His Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and on the auspices of the Holy Spirit. We need the Lord regarding deception. And regarding some counterfeits not being created equally, some counterfeits could be a child of God. Could even be a child of the devil. And you may start going on a path to even explore the potential of having a relationship. And you may think that God wants you to be with this person. But then it comes to a point where you realize, no, this is not God. Maybe it was a deception in my own heart. Or I was going with what the other person was saying. Things seem good on the surface. And even though this person may be good, the person is not good for me or the person is not the one the Lord has ordained for me to walk through life with. There's also nothing but God ordained. There's some relationships that yes, God ordained and others it seem as if he's willing to bless. Even if God, you can't say God definitively ordained your relationship. Before you start going down a path of a relationship with a person, seek God for his guidance regarding if he will even bless their relationship. Before you go on a date with someone or courting, whichever you want to phrase it, ensure you seek the Lord first because opening that door, it can result in some major issues. There's some people they have explored a relationship with another person. 
and it came to a point where it's like, well, this is not God or it's not going to work out. It seemed great at the beginning, but this is not going to work out. And both people part ways. No issues. And there are lessons that are learned in that. But the other part of not all of counterfeits not being created equally is especially when a counterfeit is a child of the devil. Or it could even be a child of God who has some issues like wounds that haven't been healed. Where you may go down a path with a person and it becomes clear whether the one or both of you that pursuing a relationship is not in accordance with God's will. In fact, if you were to get into a relationship, it would cause major damage to God's plans. And you may part ways and you think it's over. And in other person's mind, it is not over. You don't have the permission, as if you need it, to leave. And it can result in major issues. Even to the point for some people where you get into a relationship and may actually be with the person God has ordained for you. But then you have this individual lingering from months or sometimes years past. And you're wondering, why hasn't this person moved on with his or her life? Two people actually came to mind while sharing that. One is a man who experienced such a thing, and another is a woman who is probably still going through such a thing. We have one person on the surface, everything may seem great, and when things end, the person becomes a stalker. For some individuals, they have experienced spiritual warfare on levels that were previously unimaginable because someone, in some cases, the person came into their life or tried coming into their life, and it opened a door to spiritual warfare on such unprecedented levels that it may cause a Christian to want to walk away from God. So regarding counterfeits, when you hear messages about counterfeits, it is not something to take lightly. It is not something to take lightly. Some people, they will keep on playing games with God because they have experienced a counterfeit where it's just the wrong person. And both people realize it and they're like, you know what? We're not meant for each other. And they part ways amicably. They couldn't be quote unquote friends in a sort of way where they may see each other years down the line may greet each other with a brotherly hug, say hi, catch up a little bit, and just move on their ways. But for others, it becomes something awfully traumatic. Wounds that it seems as if God himself would not be able to heal. And one of the greatest potential impacts is not how, excuse me, something got in my eye, is not how that counterfeit relationship can potentially impact the person's relationship with the person or the spouse God has chosen for him or her. It will also impact that person's relationship with God. Because some people are like, God, how could you have allowed that to happen? How could you have allowed this stuff to continue for so long? The moment I realized that I was in the wrong, I repented this stuff. Why is this stuff continuing? And becomes a case like where Saul kept on chasing after David for years. When all David wanted to do was live in peace. And you have this man with an ungodly obsession chasing after him. And one of the things we know in that story is that Saul had become demonically tormented. So it wasn't surprising that he was doing ungodly things. There was a devil who was driving him. And for some counterfeits, it's not just a person 
or a person who has had some issues, was a person who was entangled with devils. And the thief truly comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And the ultimate relationship the devil is after is a relationship with a child of God and God. So Mrs. Bar counterfeits, do not take it lightly. The moment God lets you know something is not of his will, end it. Now for some people, they get in a situation, it may have seemed godly initially, and they know they need to end it, and they struggle with that. And there are many reasons. They may start seeing the dark side of a person, and they may feel afraid to leave. But God can guide you through no matter what. But in this message, it is about an ounce of prevention being better than a pound of cure. And especially for some people, getting into the counterfeit situation was as a result of witchcraft. And sometimes you don't truly find out until you're trying to break free. And demonic things start coming after you. And initially you may be ignorant, but as time transpires, you realize how truly demonic it was. And I didn't coin the term, but you may have heard me speak about demonically arranged unions. There's such a thing. I know some people, they have no problems just casually dating. And especially some children of God, you cannot casually date. You cannot. Because whatsoever God wants you to do, whosoever God is calling you to be, is such that casually dating becomes a minefield where the enemy is trying to destroy you. It's not just a matter of, in a sense, getting to know people and maybe you see someone and you be like, God, the person that you have for me, I like for the person to be like this. You have to guard your gates because M is trying to get in. And when he gets in, he's going to refuse to leave. A counterfeit is not only meant to destroy your relationship with the person God has chosen for you. A counterfeit is made to destroy your relationship with God. And again, some counterfeits are not created equally. Some counterfeits, they're good people. It may seem as if you had maybe some kind of quote unquote chemistry. You're going in the same direction, but when you find out that you're not, both of you are willing to part ways, cut your losses, so to speak. But there's some counterfeits who are devils and they will make your life a living hell. And in saying this, it's not a message to scare you, because truly God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. But it's to make you aware, because there are people who have gone through things, and if they knew it was going to be as bad as it turned out, they would have never, ever allowed things to get beyond a certain point. So all counterfeits are not created equally. Some people get to walk away unscathed, and some people are left severely wounded. And the greatest impact is on the relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ.